Our overall goal is to use the graphic organizer and create, through brainstorming, a cookie cutter of concepts that we can reuse over and over again. So we're going to, again, create a graphic organizer. We're going to brainstorm through Roger's 177 abstractions and create a structure that is reusable and has value to us that we can use over and over again in our writing. We always begin this process with the title because the title is vital to understanding what the intention of the author was. What was the goal? What question was he trying to answer? What purpose was he trying to address? The title will reveal that to us. In this particular essay, the title being Jerk, we want to, I think, define the political correctness of what the writer is trying to convey. That he defines what a jerk is or he makes a decision, he defines it, and we examine how we feel about it in terms of its political correctness. So always start with the title. Never forget that the title is vital. Okay, on this first building block slide, this is actually going to be my graphic organizer. I read the title Jerk, I brainstorming what that meant to me, and I came up with abstract concepts that this essay is about the author trying to define what is political correctness when we're dealing with the topic of a jerk. In this sample, we're going to look at the first paragraph of the essay, The Jerk. We're going to try to abstract some main ideas, and then we're going to expand our own interpretations by looking at Roger's Thesaurus list of 177. So in step one, analyze the paragraph. Now, I came up with my own main ideas that this paragraph is about revisit, reevaluate, and decide. If you read the paragraph, those are the words that I thought most definitely describes what's going on in that paragraph. Then I went to Roger's thesaurus and I tried to add something to revisit, reevaluate, and decide. And I came up with number 36 and number 37, superior and inferior. Now I'm going to bring up paragraph one. My brainstorm, my first impression of paragraph one was revisit, reevaluate, and decide. That's what I thought the theme of paragraph one was. Then I'm going to go through and brainstorm through Roger's 177, looking to see if there are any concepts that help me define revisit, reevaluate, and decide. I found 36 superior and 37 inferior relate to revisit, reevaluate, and decide, and also relate to defining political correctness if you read down. So we're creating abstract brainstorming, and we're adding them in charts throughout this uh, building block process. Following the pattern and analyzing paragraph number two, I came up with my main idea from paragraph two, which is talking about the definition of the term jerk and that it requires clarification. That's all it really took. You may come up with something totally different. Step three, following the pattern, I went into Roger's thesaurus and came up with number 57, incompleteness, as if there was an incomplete definition as I want to abstract the main idea. So basically what we want to do is keep the numbers of Roger's thesaurus together with the concepts that you are you know, recording as similar because we're going to go use those numbers as we uh, move on in. in this next building block you're going to see we've added paragraph two and we're just going to again evaluate what we think our own interpretation of the meaning of the abstract concepts the author was trying to you know reach in paragraph two we're going to chart our progress and then we're going to go through and add our brainstorming session in Roger's 177 and put number 57 in completeness in our chart. Similarly, moving on to paragraph three, I read that and analyzed that, the main idea to be blind to reality. Then I went through and looked for Roger to help find some more abstract concepts to build upon that. And I found number 44, mixture. There's no right or wrong, it's just my opinion. And you do the same. You read the paragraph, try to find out what the main idea is, and then you go and try to support your main idea through looking through the 177 Roger's abstract concepts to try to expand your thinking on that main idea. By now you should be familiar with our building block process as we go through paragraph three. 
and continue to lay out the abstract concepts that we brainstorm first thing that comes to our mind in our own interpretation then we look for help in Roger's thesaurus to add 44 mixture We continue with the brainstorming pattern in paragraphs 4 and 5. Come up with our own main ideas in the blue boxes. Anybody can be a jerk for paragraph 4 and main idea paragraph 5. Standards of society can be a disagreeable. Those are what I came up with. You can come up with your own. And then we want to expand those to further review the abstract concepts of 90 duality and 82 conformity paragraphs four and five as we continue to construct our own graphic organizer of abstract concepts. Here's the final building block slide as we add paragraph four and paragraph five as we brainstorm some abstract concepts and then add in our interpretation of what Roger might have to say to help us define and we came up with number 90 duality and number 82 conformity for paragraph 4 and paragraph 5. Here's a five step recap of the exercise that we've just completed. First you want to complete a critical reading of the assigned essay in this case the jerk. Step two you want to be looking for abstract concepts devoid of details no specifics, just very general abstract concepts that are undefined and open to interpretation and give your interpretation of them. Step three is you want to try to strengthen your first interpretation of the abstract concepts in the essay by brainstorming your way through Roger's 177 abstract concepts looking for matching ideas. Finally, step five, you want to look for new story ideas, new topics that might fit the pattern of your new expanded graphic organizer. Because once you have an abstract graphic organizer containing many interrelated ideas that are general in nature, you should be able to very easily find other stories that you can use to fit the pattern. In essence, we've created an, a cookie cutter of abstract concepts that we can apply to any idea and once you get your head around this notion that you can create and build an abstract cookie cutter or an abstract blueprint then all you have to do is plug in some new story idea follow the pattern use the cookie cutter okay here's my final graphic organizer under the title jerk you can see the five paragraphs listed on the left under the brainstorm you can see how I uh, reacted to not only the title, Defining Political Correctness, but also um, each paragraph, how I decided my first reaction was to think of what the author's uh, intent was, what his purpose was, what he was trying to say in abstract terms. And on the right-hand side, then I went through, and you'll see the list going down, of all the Roger concepts that, one by one in each paragraph, I found. Okay, so now that I've completed my graphic organizer and you can see in the white text the reactions that I had to the five paragraphs and they're numbered here one, two, three, four, five from the essay The Jerk on the left hand side of your screen. Now notice that I've reorganized those and reordered them and you have total control. There's no arbitrary reason that you have to follow your abstract reactions. What you come up with on first glance as you brainstorm, as you read the main points of the essay. I reorganize these and I think these fit into a nice construct. One, blind to reality. Two, definition requires clarification. Three, not everybody agrees with the standard. Four, anybody fits the description. Five, revisit, reevaluate, and decide. I reordered them. These were the five first reactions in the abstract that I had to the five paragraphs of the jerk. As you can go past and revisit the video, you'll see that these were not in the same order as the paragraphs, and I reordered them at the end here to show you how I felt that they fit it together. Well, I'm just creating and brainstorming my own abstract graphic organizer. Then on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see the abstract construct number one. This was completely out of Roger's thesaurus. And 
Okay, the next phase of construction is to find the adjectives from a list that will be provided to you that helps you to narrow the focus of the very general abstracts listed here, 14 identity, 25 difference, 26 agreement, etc. We want to narrow the focus of these abstract concepts by adding adjectives to each Okay, we're not done yet. As we continue to build our framework of interrelated abstract concepts, we go back to our original reaction to the reading that we had, and you see here, blind to reality, definition, requires clarification, etc. And then we bring in, again, the abstract concepts and the adjectives together. Okay, what you'll find is that the adjectives that were generated by Roger's concepts together, the adjectives will reflect back, jump back over and reflect upon your original conceptualization from the critical reading. It'll flick all the way back to one, two, three, four, five, starting with blind to reality and revisit, reevaluate and decide which was my first reaction, my abstract reaction as best I could envision from the critical reading. So all the adjectives that you gather up under Roger because Roger inspired some adjectives to help you develop some thesis. Those adjectives can be used. They will reflect back to your original conceptualizations. Okay, thanks so much. Hope that helps. See you in class on Monday. And if you have any questions, send me an email.